You know what, Nessa girl, I want to talk about something. There's something on my mind. And in the words of Tamiya, I can't hold it in much longer. We've done a horrible thing in this country when we have given the words, I'm offended, power. Like, all you got to do in 2018 to ruin somebody entire life is say you're uncomfortable, career done. Say you're offended, career done. Or just accuse somebody of sexual misconduct, career done. But I want to stick with offended. When somebody says they're offended, can y'all drop down in the comments and break down for me what that means? And moreover, what are the consequences that the person who is offended experiences? Like, after you realize in your brain that you are offended, <laughs> then what? Because... For me, when I'm offended, the few times that I actually am offended, I recognize the offense, then I just keep it moving. But now, when people get offended, it's almost as if we've empowered them to this sense of entitlement that now something catastrophic has to happen as a result of them being offended so you know i just did three posts and i'm gonna get into kevin hart in this oscar situation so i was on the phone with one of my friends earlier this afternoon and uh, we were making lunch dinner cocktail plans and he's from D detroit and you know whenever i have dealings with him he just moves a little differently. And it prompted me to write this uh, post on my Instagram. Detroit people, y'all are real different in a very bad way. It was a joke. It was a joke. Okay. Caught some flat there. People all in the... I mean, even me, even though some of your biggest supporters from Detroit, I've been supporting you for years. Now I'm finna, it's like, girl, like, can you not, girl, can you not just take the joke? And I'm not, you know, I saw a clip today that Ice Cube did an interview somewhere talking in reference to Kevin Hart. And he was like, name one group of people name one group that is not above being roasted like at some point everybody's ticket is going to be called so then i followed up with the st louis people are the most country worst dressed people you'll ever meet then i went on to say mississippi people can't read, can't count, and too dumb to even care. Then in the caption I wrote, we ain't even got to worry about no Mississippi people being offended. They can't read none of what I'm writing anyway. Laughy face. Then lastly, I did one for Florida people. Florida people will steal everything you got, including your last breath, then lie about it. Florida people steal, especially Miami, Jacksonville, Tampa, and St. Pete. Them hoes steal. St. Pete was the tax fraud capital of the U.S. Mind you, Marlo Hampton is from St. Pete. Now, anybody with two inklings of a brain, as far as my post is concerned, realize it is, a, it is a succession of jokes. I'm going through each state, playing up stereotypes. We having a good time. We laughing. Now, you got some people in the comments that get it. They like, oh, God, I wonder what he going to say when he get to Texas. Oh, girl, I'm scared about what he going to say about New York people. We having a good time. Why does this bother you so? Like, why? And I love the saying, if it don't apply, let it fly. Why is it that people get so up in arms, especially about folks that don't even know you? So let me take the Mississippi one, for example. 
All Mississippi people dumb, stupid, and can't read. Then you got people who get who waste their time commenting how you just go group the whole state, everybody. And I hate people who do that everybody rant. Like your only contribution to the argument is you can't group everybody in the same box. Everybody not like that bitch. As many motherfucking nights as I spent in the goddamn library at Florida State University where I got my degree in economics. Don't you think I of all people recognize it's not every single literal person in Mississippi or any other place. The point I'm making is, and the greater point, is as a comedian, me being a news comedian, Kevin Hart being a stage comedian, as funny people, what can we say? What can we say? Joan Rivers, I love her so so much. She's so trailblazing. And she always said, never apologize for the joke. America, I'm just not understanding when the fuck we got so goddamn sensitive. And what happened to the days that when you were offended about something or you were bothered or perturbed by something, you just turned the channel or you just walked the other way or you just didn't shop there no more or you just didn't come around anymore. When did we become a society of goddamn crybabies? Like this shit is annoying. And I'm going to tell y'all something. And I know I'm about to catch a lot of flack for this. Um, this shit that's going on with Kevin Hart. Is dead ass wrong. I'm gay. I am sensitive to a lot of comments that are made about gay people. But this, this first of all, the Kevin Hart comments were tweets that he wrote in 2011. I don't give a good goddamn who you are. Don't come to me about no shit no bitch said in 2011. It is 2018. Matter of fact, matter of fact, it's 2019. Don't step to me with no shit no bitch said eight years ago. And here is why. Let's just say for the sake of argument that he meant every damn thing he said. Eight years is enough time for somebody to be educated and changed, okay? Number two, context. Number three, it's a joke. Number four, and especially if you're a member of the gay community, you know that that shit has some factual context in your family, the family next door to you, and as gays as a whole. The running reverberating theme for gay people is nobody want their kids to be gay. That. As a gay person, you've heard that shit before. So Kevin's heart joke about if my child was gay, I'd spank him, whoop him, or whatever it is he said. Why, and especially considering how long ago it was, why does that bother some people so much? Like, really, and I'm gay, that shit don't bother me remotely. It would be totally different if in 2018 he stood up on a Netflix platform or on TV and said that shit. It was some jokes. And then we're also setting another deadly president in this country. Which is the moment somebody get a position, get an achievement, get an award, now it's proper protocol to run through their tweets with a fine tooth comb and find out some kind of way we can diminish this person for some dickhead shit they've said years ago. And it would be totally different if Kevin Hart in 2018, 2019 was the same Kevin Hart from 20. Uh, 11. He wasn't as big. Now, if Kevin Hart would have tweeted that shit today in this current climate, I would have been like, you know what, Kevin, you should have known better to tell that type of joke with this sensitive, sissy ass culture that we live in in 2019. But y'all, it was wrong. And to Kevin, you, you know what, the funny thing about it is, I actually respect the way the Oscars handled it. Because they're a business, and because we live in a culture that people are so damn sensitive, they didn't want to catch no residual backlash as a result of him. So all they requested of him was to just make an apology and let's keep it all with the regularly scheduled program. Kevin decided for his own personal reasons 
that instead of apologizing, he would step down. Now, you know what? I can't comment on if that was the right or the wrong thing to do because that man made that decision based on an individual set of experiences and he's got his own reasons. Here is my thing. Me personally, from a selfish perspective, I would have preferred Kevin to have pushed through, made the apology, killed it at the Oscars, so we could have added that to the history books. This is one of those things where I wish Kevin would have stepped outside of himself and took that one up the ass for the greater cause. You know what I'm saying? To have had a black man not only host the Oscars, but host it and kill it. I think Kevin got into his feelings. He got into his pride. He couldn't see the forest for the trees. And maybe he could have. And maybe this was just the decision that that man had to make for himself. And I totally respect it man to man, despite my selfish motives, would have preferred him to have done it for the legacy of it all. You know what I'm saying? For the legacy of it all. But I just hate, and I'm a member of the gay community, and some of y'all may, you know, try to attack me for it, the trans community as well. And, and this is one of those things. And I listen, we do face a lot of discrimination and we do face a lot of whatever, whatever, but I'm just not liking this shit as a gay person that gay has become the new trigger word. The moment you say something about gay people, you lose your whole goddamn life. I don't like it. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right. I think people's offenses have been so heavily politicized that we have now created a culture where people are scared to speak. I feel like there are lanes for everybody and if you don't like what this person is saying or you don't like this person's agenda, then don't fuck with them. And I'm gonna tell you somebody who, I, I, who, who and y'all have heard me say this before, Dr. Umar Johnson. I don't fuck with Umar. I don't fuck with him at all. Tyreek Nashi, I don't fuck with him either. I think those brothers are superb intellect. A lot of the shit that come out their mouth, not only do I like it, I love it, I support it, and I agree with it. I don't like the way they come at gay people. I don't like their positions on, 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 on homosexuality, but I respect the fact that they have the right to have and express whatever opinion they like. And you know what I do? Instead of sit on this platform all day, I'm offended, I'm offended, I'm offended, and launch campaigns against Umar and Tariq, I just turn the channel. I just turn the channel. And I don't watch any of Umar's stuff or Tariq's stuff intentionally for fear of they might say something that upset me because I know that that's what them brothers give. So I don't keep going back, giving them an opportunity to infuriate me even more. I just don't watch their stuff and I keep it moving. I just don't understand why, you know, as, as, as a collective society, we can't do the same. And this is not just a gay issue. This is about everything. The minute you mention Jew, you can't even tell the joke. You can't even tell the joke. You can't even say anymore, Oh, you know, I went to get a car and I tried to Jew them down. Like, oh, I'm offended. I'm offended. Then all the sponsors pulling out. Yo, we. My question is, what can we say? If you've given us a list of things we can't say, I need these same people to write the guidelines and draw the box and confines and boundaries of things we can say. And it's funny because the things that we can and cannot say shift from, you know, quarter to quarter. It's like, you know, you can't say nothing. Damn. Before you know it, everything in life gonna be a Disney movie. Like, y'all might as well get ready to take R ratings out of movies. You can't say shit without somebody being offended. And the last question that I got, and I really want y'all to drop down in these comments and help me understand what happens if you don't answer no other question, answer this one question. What happens to it? What happens to a person after they're offended? You didn't lose no hair, you didn't lose no sleep, you didn't lose no eyebrows, you didn't lose no money. You had a 30 second pause. Ooh, I 
I've been hit. Then you go back to doing what you're doing. So I'm just, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not liking it. I hate it. Um, and y'all, we need to do better. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Also, go check out my Instagram, Miss Funky Dineva, M-S-F-U-N-K-Y-D-I-N-E-V-A. Because I know them comments over there are super lit. I know they're probably reporting my page up something. And it's just, you know, that was a litmus test and a social experiment to show how fucking sensitive we've become as a damn society. And we've got to quit. I'll call y'all later. Bang!